Fair warning, do not use this video as a guide for how to install this screen. This is more so of an unboxing video despite my awkward attempt to get it installed on camera. So now that you've been warned, don't be like, Oh my gosh, you're totally wasting my time! Worst video ever! Please and thank you. Alright. Now, let's proceed to dealing with this. So as you can see, this is the phone that I received from the other day. I think it was like last week or so. So now here I have the, no not the cases, the screen protectors for them when they finally arrive. So let's cut this open and see what this looks like. Where did I put my knife? Okay, here we go. Now thankfully this should be pretty easy to open so you won't have to worry about me taking some time to actually open this because yeah it's straightforward actually i don't even need to use this i really need a scissors i'm like opening a cardboard box this will do the job much better okay make sure everything's in the frame just let me make sure i don't cut my hands or cut into the screen protectors themselves okay and uh, let's see, is there anything else in here? Okay, that paper display has some personal information on it, so it's a good thing I cut that away from the camera. No, we don't care about this because this is boring. This is what we care about. Let's see if that's showing well. Yeah. So it says Illuma Shield Precision Laser Cut Screen Protector, Anti Fingerprint, Anti Bubble, Super Clear. We are resistant and made in the USA and it has a lifetime warranty. So I heard that this one was actually pretty good, especially for the 1520s. So I decided, that, you know, okay, I guess I'll do a little bit of additional research, look into it, and I was satisfied with it. So I'm like, okay, let me just buy this and see how it goes. So here they have some instructions. I don't know if they're going to show clearly on camera. Mm, no, it won't focus enough. So. I need to follow these instructions if I actually install it because I think it will install it on the camera. So, what I first need to do is clean your device's screen using the provided microfiber cloth before you start. Make sure that the screen is completely free of dust, debris, and fingerprints. Using the blue tab marked 1, peel back the protective layer about 2 inches. This exposes the adhesive side of the screen protector. Do not touch the exposed adhesive side. Carefully align the screen protector to the device and apply the adhesive side down. Only to the top two inches that were exposed should stick to the screen. So they peel back the rest of the protective liner using the blue tab as their protective layer rolls off the bottom. Actually, this is really boring. Do I really want to read all this on camera or should I just get into this? Well, actually, I kind of have to because I don't want to mess this up. Or do I actually want to install it off the camera? So just to make sure that I don't get this thing messed up because it did cost, I think, about 9 CAD. So, yeah, I don't want to mess it up. Like, I mean, there's three in the pack, but I'd rather not have one messed up. So, for that reason, I guess I'll just read it and see how it goes. Okay, there's the microfiber cloth. I was looking at kind of concerned. I was just like, whoa. Where is it? have that Luma Shield application card here. No, it still doesn't look like it's focusing too well, and that's a darn shame, but oh well. Okay, I don't want the cloth to get dusty itself, so I'm just put it up here. Yeah, this is what the cloth looks like, by the way. It's like this purple, or I guess you could say indigo. No, I wouldn't say it's indigo. It's just, just, it's just like dark purple. Okay, so these are the screens.
And I'm gonna take this one. I don't want to waste them, so I'm just gonna put these guys back. And then I'm just gonna read this one more time, of course. I'm not gonna obviously leave that apart on camera. I'm gonna take that out before I start to read it, just to be extra sure, because I don't want to waste my money on these expensive, high-quality screens, and I'm gonna go to waste all because I didn't follow instructions. I guess this is as good as good can be, so let's dive into this. Where did I put it? Okay, here we go. Nope, that's not it. Oh, here it is. Put it up here. Okay, I think I'll actually call it quits this video and just install the table or something because this thing is collecting hairs and dust. And All right, so this is the final result of installing this Illumina Shield screen protector, and I should probably turn this flash off so it doesn't glare too much. Now I don't know if it'll show on camera, but unfortunately I have two nasty air bubbles right there and there. So aside from that, it went well. Though I probably would have been better off if I had just watched a video about to install this thing in the first place because it would have seriously helped to just speed up the process and just make the video look much less awkward. But anyway, so it will be interesting to see how well this goes because I hear that it had really good reviews, so I hope it holds up to the hype. I know that this video is a bit of an awkward fail and that you would have much preferred if I actually got it installed correctly on camera so you could use it as a guide, but unfortunately I didn't watch a video in advance to see how you get it done properly. But anyways. Did you like this video? Are you using an Illumina Shield screen protector? Comment, rate, like, subscribe, share, read my blog for information, and visit my Twitter page for my latest tweets. And do not forget to also participate in the polls in the top right corner in the eye circle.